My husband Andreas is a major meat man. He loves his steak. So when I first met him, I knew it was crucial. I knew how to grill a steak perfectly. So today on this episode of Cook This, I'm gonna show you how to grill steak perfectly, foolproof. So stick around. Hey guys, today we're gonna grill steak. So I have two New York strip steaks. These are about a pound each, so they're boneless, and they're about a little over an inch thick. So you definitely want them at least an inch or a little bit more thick. So I'm gonna teach you how to grill a steak perfectly, foolproof. But first thing you wanna do is heat your grill. So I have the grill out there heating. We wanna heat it really nice and hot, and then we're gonna clean it first. And I'll just show you a little good tip on how to clean it and then we have to season our steak liberally with salt and pepper. It seems like a lot of salt but that is a thick steak. We need it to penetrate through the meat. Your grill. I like to take a bunch of Viva paper towels. They're just a really hearty towel. You could also use an old towel and saturate it with hot water and then just rub it along your grates. You never want to use a wire brush. I've heard some really horrible stories of the wires breaking off on the grates and then ingesting them. So you don't want to use a wire brush. This is an easy way to just clean your grill and that way it gets rid of all the debris. And now it's hot, heated, and ready for our steaks. All right, so our New York strip steaks are about an inch thick, a little over an inch. So here's your rule of thumb. Place them on your hot grill. I've already drizzled a little bit of canola oil on our steaks so that way they don't stick. And we want to grill it four minutes per inch on each side for medium rare. Halfway through, we're going to turn them 90 degrees so that way we get those beautiful hatch marks. It's been about two minutes. Now you just want to rotate it 90 degrees. Another two minutes and then we'll flip it. So we're going to grill it another two minutes, then turn it 90 degrees for another two. Steaks are looking good. We're going to take them off and let them rest for about eight minutes. That way, all the juices stay inside the meat and they stay succulent. So our steak is already rested, and then I like to serve it thinly sliced and fanned out on a dish. So you look at that, so you have the red interior with a pink surrounding, it's perfect medium rare. So go to the newspaper's website, check out my cream spinach recipe, it goes great with this steak. I'm Shereen with Cook This. Don't forget, go to the newspaper's website also for this recipe. And for more of my fresh and easy recipes, check out tweetmeats.com. Enjoy.